Hey everybody, so here I am again, and if you don't know who I am, my name is Archie Stewart, and I am a psychology major at the University of Alabama at Birmingham. Um, one thing that I wanted to talk about today, I know I haven't done a video on it a little bit, but um, one thing I want to talk about today is mind control. And God really laid this on my heart because it was something that I've been struggling with for um, a good little bit of time. And mind control is nothing that you really, you can master it, but you can always get better in it. You can always improve your mind control. Um, also, I blogged about this on my blog site. And if you want to check it out, I'll put the link in the comment suggestion section, like section down there or whatever. And, but I'll say it is claimyourcrown.wordpress.com. And um, I just started about two weeks ago, so you should totally check it out. And I hope that it blesses you, and I hope that it helps you. And I have a section on there where you can tell me what you want me to talk about on the blog. And most of the stuff that I blog about, I'll probably do a video about. I just have to get around to it. But um, the Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 5, we demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God, and we take captive every thought and make it obedient to Christ. I read that again. We demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God, and we take captive every thought and make it obedient to Christ. Once again, that's 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 5. And pretty much that verse just says that we're taking whatever goes on in our head, and if it does not line up with God's will, or if it doesn't line up with God's word, then we're trying to we're gonna flip it around and make it yield to Christ. So, if on a daily basis, I really do this because I mean I'm not perfect, so I do think some really horrible thoughts sometimes. But um, like I could think one day, um, somebody might give me or somebody might say something to me that probably sets me off and one thing God is working with me is he's working with me on my hot head and it's in my anger but um somebody could pop off and say something to me that's kind of sideways and I might think in my head that I really want to go off on this person but immediately as I start thinking that I'm like no mind you're gonna obey Christ no these words is not pleasing to God obey Christ like Seriously, I said it in my head. I know it's cheesy. It may sound cheesy. It may sound corny, but it works. And you should probably try it because it works. <laughs> um, but as spiritual, spiritually empowered beings, it's not easy to control your thoughts. And it's not easy to control your mind. But through Christ, we can do just about anything. And once you start doing something habitually, then like I said, like the word habitually means it becomes a habit. And if you get into the habit of making your, consciously making your thoughts obey Christ, and if you consciously think about things that are good, then um, then you'll start thinking more positive thoughts, and your thoughts won't be so negative. <clears throat> um, the word says that we must keep our minds on things that are excellent and praiseworthy, which is Philippians 4 and 8. And how, but how can we do that if we are constantly thinking negative thoughts and we don't know how to turn that around to make everything obey Christ? Right. Like I said, you have to, it's a daily fight. It's a daily struggle. One likes, it's, even though you have negative thoughts, there are things that can feed into your negative thoughts. They don't just come out of thin air. They're fed and they're planted by something. And some of the things that are planted and fed um, into your mind are the things that we see on a daily basis, like TV or the environments we're in, or the music we listen to, whatever. Those things feed into um, our minds. Um, one of the sh like one of the shows that I absolutely adore, like I spent my entire Thanksgiving break watching the first two series of the show. It was a really nice show, but it did not help me at all. And it was Scandal. Now, I'm not knocking Scandal. Now, don't get mad at me. I just can't watch it. Because me being in the season that I am right now, I'm single. And I'm, I've been single for a while. And I'm in college. So, seeing stuff like that, it, it actually made me kind of discontent. And you can say, most people can say that, hey, that's how it made you feel. Not everybody's the same. Everybody ain't got the same struggle. But that's my struggle. So if you have a struggle with lust or discontentment or if you long for something and you watch something that 
feeds into the wrong kind of spirit within your mind, then you should probably shut it off. Because I know with scandal, it it made me want um it made me want a husband or somebody to love, somebody that to love me that much more. Just because Olivia and Fitz were together and just because they loved each other didn't make it right because Fitz is married to the first lady, Kerry Washington and his wife. That was his mistress. That's adultery. And it's wrong. And it's something that was that that I shouldn't feed into my mind because what you feed into your mind dictates your actions. So, and I know y'all probably gonna say, oh my God, I'm not gonna watch Scandal and it completely changed my actions. No, I may not do it overnight, but it's gonna plant that seed. And if we all know about plants, we all took biology, we all took whatever science is that consisted of plants. Um, we all took those classes where it took time for the plant, the seed to be planted and plants to grow. But just like our thoughts, our thoughts when we plant things into our mind, it's probably not gonna happen overnight. But as you feed it, it's gonna build up and it's gonna build up and eventually that that seed is gonna sprout into something. And I mean, I noticed that as I watched more and more scandal, I didn't realize what I, what was going on, but I didn't wanna read my Bible as much. I didn't talk to God as much. I didn't, I found myself more discontent in my single season. Um, I had I had a few randoms, a couple of them. Um, and if you don't know what a random is, it's Heather Lindsay. Ooh, Heather, Heather has her own channel too. Um, so you should check Heather Lindsay, Heather L. Love, I think, is her blog. Um, or Heather L. Love .com. That's her blog spot. But her YouTube channel is Heather Lindsay. And um, she has this word that she uses. It's called randoms. And it's pretty much a person that you don't see yourself marrying. You don't really see yourself going anywhere with this person. But you just want that person there just for um just for entertainment purposes like you really don't see it anywhere going anywhere but that's kind of what i had going on because i just wanted somebody there to love me but it was wrong so eventually i cut out scandal i used to read the books 50 shades of gray had to cut out 50 shades of gray because now 50 shades of gray they eventually got married which is good you know i read all three books but I tried to go back and reread those books and I couldn't do it because what was going in my mind was dictating my actions. And I know you're like, oh yeah, well you have a choice or whatever, but we're carnal beings. We're going to do, we're going to fall into our carnal nature. If we don't though, you're going to operate in what you feed. If you feed your carnal nature, you're going to operate in your carnal nature and your carnal nature does not agree with God. So you're not going to walk in what God wants you to do. But if you feed your spirit, man, then you're going to walk in your spiritual nature. And that agrees with God. It, I mean, the Bible says that the flesh is the enemy of the spirit. Like they just, they can't coincide. They will never agree ever. It just won't happen. But we can't afford to let our thoughts run wild. We have to watch what we're seeing. We have to watch what we're doing. We have to watch what's going on. And we have to take those thoughts and make them obey Christ. Because if we don't, then we'll start leading lives in our own will, in our own way. And we can't afford to be outside the will of God. Um, to regulate your thoughts, just ask God to help you focus and to um, help you to not feed your carnal man. Start reading your Bible. Get into your word. Listen to some worship music. I know I stopped, I actually stopped listening to rap and R&B and stuff like that. And now I listen to more contemporary Christian music because it's more edifying. You want things that'll edify you. And I mean, you can like, you can say that I'm a holy roller or anybody for that matter is a holy roller. Or you can just say that it's not that deep. Well, it is that deep. Um, I like to think that the second, when God comes, that's going to be pretty deep. I like to think that Jesus dying on the cross for me is pretty deep. I really like to think that when he comes and, you know, we all ascend, I want to go up the first time. So it's kind of that deep. Um, and you want to do anything that will draw you nearer to God. Any and everything that you can do to get closer to God, we should try to do it. And a lot of people say, well, I got time. No, you don't have time because God says no man knows the, the day nor the hour. God can come tomorrow. You're going to have some time. Or no, I didn't think so. So, but I mean, that's all I really have to say, y'all. Um, just be conscious of 
what we're saying and what we're doing, what we're feeding into our minds. And let's live this thing for real. Let's do what God wants us to do. Let's live this thing out and, you know, just go for it. So I hope y'all have a good night. And I hope this video was short and sweet and to the point, not like my other 30 minute long videos. So I hope y'all have a good night. Love y'all.